oh my god 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 i made my first nourish bowl today and it was unbelievable and it's low calories and high in protein go on my instagram to find out the macro information but please stay till the end of this video i promise you it's worth it so i use fry light as per usual some hex sausages cut them up I popped them to the side when they were ready and I fry lighted the pan again, <laughs> added my vegetables and I'm obsessed with this chicken seasoning and I just smothered them all in it and it was absolutely delicious, cooked them for a little bit. It got really watery so I took all of that out and I just chucked it away, then I popped my rice in literally for a minute and a half, so easy and quick. And then I start dishing everything up. First off the rice, then we've got the mushrooms and broccoli and then we have our beautiful sweet peppers. I popped my sausages in and then I started adding my cucumber. Then we've got tomatoes and we have some olives and some guac. And oh my God, this was so unbelievably tasty. It's the first but not the last time. What's up guys? I lost 12 pounds in a single week because of this drink. You're gonna take some water, a kiwi and a mandarin orange and some garlic powder. Put a little bit of the garlic powder in the water, squeeze the mandarin orange, and then take a little bit of the kiwi peel and put that in the cup, stir it around and drink this once in the morning, once at night, I swear, you're gonna get such amazing results. This is a joke. Please stop drinking weird things you see on TikTok. Yes. Grab whatever veg you have. Chop it, carrot, scabby bit. Oh, grater. Keep doing it, mate. Pepper. Be gone. Thin strips. Whoa. Broccoli. Get the stalk. Dice it up, mate. Use it. It's green. Good. Use it. Asparagus. Make your weed smell. Chop. Spring onion for the garnish. Health. Grab a pan. High heat. Pre cooked prawns. In. Tim Simar. Be veg, bang it in. Mix it around. Pepper, garlic, coriander, soy sauce, mix it. Ooh. Let's plate it up. Plate or a bowl. Pepper, sunflower seed for a bit of crunch. Parsley, chili flakes, sriracha. And we're done. What to do about your cravings. So you're really craving chocolate ice cream, but you decide to have an apple and peanut butter instead. You then decide it's not hitting the spot and try a granola and yogurt bowl as a healthier alternative. You're still craving and thinking about the ice cream and decide to enjoy it anyway. Instead of allowing this to happen, have one serving of the food that you're craving and move on with your day. Two ingredient high protein wrap. Blend eggs and spinach. Pour into a pan on a medium heat and let it bubble. And there you have it. You can fill it with any filling you like. Today I'm making a delicious halloumi wrap. It's low carb and grain free. All right, y'all, these pizza videos are my most popular videos. So let's make a low calorie, high protein pizza. Set the oven to 425. Keep the crust in the freezer, it lasts forever. The crust I'm using, I get it from Whole Foods. Six grams of protein and one flatbread. While the oven's preheating, we're gonna toast up this flatbread. Crisping the crust is crucial or else when you put the sauce in the toppings, it's just going to fall apart. This is the sauce I'm using fat-free. I get it from Whole Foods. Two grams of protein per serve. I'm using three cheeses. These two are fat-free. These are the game changer. They have nine grams of protein per serving and we use three servings total. This one is not fat-free, but it adds a ton of flavor. Seven grams of protein per serving, but it is much higher in calories, so I'm only going to use half a serving. We do turkey pepperoni because it has 70% less fat. Ten grams of protein per serving. This is just extra flavor. Crispy. Sauce, fat-free cheese, pepperonis, peppers, flavor cheese. In the oven for five minutes. Five minutes is up, but we're not done. We're gonna broil for two minutes. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. If you're trying to calorie deficit, this is a really good filling breakfast I like to make. I chop a bunch of asparagus, and then I get my tomato. This one's from my garden, and I just chop it up, and then I slice some red onion. I slice some green onion. This just gives it some really good flavor. Put a little oil down in your pan, saute your veggies, put it to the side. I like to use egg whites and then I throw my veggies in with a little bit of mozzarella and feta cheese. Top it with some salt and pepper. And here's how you make some banging enchiladas. First, get yourself a pepper, chop it up like this and slice it into strips. Then grab an onion, peel it and chop it like this. Crush your garlic, chop a garlic, spray some fry light, whack it in a pan, cook it on a medium to low heat. Add in some chicken or corn, add for heat a spice, give it a mix, add half a tin of tomatoes, mix it up, 
whack it in the wrap, roll it up, put it in a casserole dish, add the other half a tin tomatoes, add some grated cheese and whack it in the oven. I want to show you how to make these 35 calorie abs approved brownie cupcakes. Start by adding 3 quarters of a cup of 0% fat Greek yogurt into a blender. Then add a quarter of a cup of milk of own choice into the blender. Add half a cup of oats, half a cup of unsweetened cacao powder, and half a cup of stevia. Add an egg into the mix and one teaspoon of baking powder. Add just a pinch of salt, ooh, that was a little too much, and then blend it up. Oh yeah, and don't forget to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then make 12 cute little cupcakes and place it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Simple, easy, and delicious. Enjoy! Hey you guys, it's Rosie and today I'm so ill and I can't film anything for TikTok so I'm going to show you again how I made this low calorie mac and cheese just in case you missed it. So I started off by adding my pasta, then I added some broccoli and then I put some water in and left that to boil. I realised the pot wasn't big enough so I changed it to a pan. Then I added some butter to the old pot, let that melt and added my spinach into the broccoli and pasta. When the butter was melted, I added some flour. Then I cooked my bacon lardons. This is optional, of course, you don't have to add them. I mixed that together, added some milk and a vegetable broth. Mix that together until it was this nice mac and cheesy sauce without any cheese. And then I added the bacon to the pasta and the broccoli and the spinach when it was cooked. Add the sauce as well and added loads of cheese. I added added uh, this cheese and I also added some parmesan and all the measurements over on my Instagram so go check that out and give me a follow I'm almost at 10k and there you have it guys under 500 calories okay so these are my healthy 10 calorie bite-sized banana oatmeal cookies start with one small ripe banana mash it up a half a teaspoon of vanilla a quarter cup of sweetener I use erythritol and then half a cup of oat flour, make it yourself, it's super easy. And then a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter cup of whole quick oats. Mix it up and there you go. Use about a teaspoon per cookie, flatten it out and then bake at 350 for about 10 minutes. Um, this is a really easy recipe and they're great, so enjoy. 1600 calorie what i eat in a day i start off with a breakfast sandwich and a half cup of pineapple for lunch a blt and some orange slices and broccoli i had a sweet tooth so i made this low calorie brownie in a mug super rich and chocolatey and actually tasted like a brownie here i have my ritz veggie chips that i eat with my low fat veggie cream cheese this is my favorite snack for dinner i saved my biggest meal to avoid binge eating at night and i have a bonza chickpea pizza i served that with a little side caesar salad half the pizza is only 405 calories so that's awesome and a popsicle bringing our total to 1605 calories So I've lost close to 57 pounds and I get questions all the time about, can I post a recipe? And I laugh because I don't know what I'm doing in the kitchen and not in like a oh, cute kind of way. No, like I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try to make steak quesadillas. So let's go, I guess. I'm gonna use this super old George Foreman grill that my parents gave me. Plus one of these 50 calorie extreme wellness high fiber tortillas. Using my food scale, I'm gonna measure out three ounces of this steak. Food scale is from Amazon. I'll be using two slices of this cheese. All right, here we go, three ounces of steak. I recommend shredded cheese, but your girl doesn't have any shredded cheese, so here we go. I'm now going to fold it up. Isn't she beautiful? Bye. If I had salsa, I'd also use that, but I do have this, so I'll be having this on the side. Look, I really am not mad at it. How to make a pepperoni pizza for less than 500 calories. You will need half a packet of yeast, 200 grams of plain flour, 125 mils of water, salt and pepper. Passata, low fat mozzarella, oregano, two yellow peppers, fresh basil, peppers and pepperoni. To make the pizza dough, combine the flour, water, yeast, salt and pepper and lightly knead for two to three minutes. And place under a tea towel while you get your toppings ready. Next, chop tomatoes, peppers and split your dough into two equal balls. Roll out the dough, making it thicker at the edges. Spread around your passata nice and evenly to the edges and top with your mozzarella, fresh yellow peppers, tomatoes and pepperoni. To finish, add some oregano, fresh basil and peppers. You can add some fresh cheese extra if you want. Remember to add the calories. 
Bake in the centre of an oven for six minutes on 180 degrees. Then it should end up looking something like this. And here's how you make burger and chips for less than 500 calories. First, you want to get yourself a Maris Piper potato and chop them into chips like this. Fry light on a tray, whack the chips in and cook them in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. Then cook your burgers. I use these mozzarella burgers by Linda McCartney because I'm vegetarian. But if you eat meat, then get some lean beef mince and split them into 125 gram balls. Make them into patties and cook them in the pan. Toast your bun, lettuce, chips, 